Hey YouTube, welcome back into the studio. Uh, today I'm painting and working on a couple of bighorn sheep. Now, long story short, started off as a different project for a different person. They didn't want it, a certain entity didn't want it, so I reworked it into uh, one of my own original pieces. So, the first bighorn was already painted, but I decided to film the second one and show you how I painted these big sheep. So, come on in show you how to paint them and don't forget to subscribe share and like so i'm going to rework it into uh, something that i can uh, put into my portfolio so the idea i had was maybe what i'll do is put another big horn behind them that way you guys can see how i painted this big horn and then maybe we'll put a waterfall or some stones behind him or something or you know what maybe even a misted mountain that might be well uh, you know, a uh, misty mountain behind him. Oh, I'll, I'll work that out when I get there. So, why don't I go ahead and in a nice quick time lapse, I'll show you how I actually painted in uh, this big horn by putting another big horn behind him.
insert a little bit of audio here to fill in what I'm doing. 
right now I decided to block in my background and get rid of the white of the board. And whenever I'm uh, painting a background and I already have something in the foreground established, I like to paint around the edge with a smaller brush and then use a larger brush to block in the uh, local color. Now, here I'm putting in this blue that I'm not going to really give too much detail on because I thought I was going to use a two-tier mountain in the background and change my mind and said, forget it later. So there's not much use spending time on explaining that. What I do want to explain is right here, I'm painting in some rocks and creating just a little bit of a ridge, which ended up being the name of the painting right there is, is Bighorn Ridge. And why I'm painting uh, rocks down in this corner is really to establish a little more depths. See, by putting the rocks there, I now have the subject matter of the bighorn in the foreground, some rocks to establish a middle ground, and then I'll have a misted mountain in the background to, of course, establish the, the back end of the painting. So now we've really created depth. So really these rocks here are just to establish that little hint of depth in the painting, and also to give a little area that's got some detail that are outside of the bighorn so that not all the attention's in the bighorn and that our eye has somewhere of interest to go outside of the bighorn, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
As I'm finishing up the horns here, I thought I'd go over a, a couple of reminder points. One, establish your local colors, then establish your shape and form, and then establish your detail. Don't jump ahead to the detail. Everybody wants to do that, including myself. If you don't have your good, solid uh, hues, values, lines, directions, all your principles and elements established before you go to detail, it's just going to fall apart and you're going to be repainted again. So here's the finished piece. I thought I'd zoom in and show you a little bit of detail here. So you can see by layering, you get that nice sense of depth in, in your horns and your fur and your backgrounds, whatever it is. Acrylic is all about layering. So there's a big horn rich. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy painting, everyone. <laughs>